Hey, what's going on, guys? My name's Tana. Welcome to Crypto Bible. How are we doing? I hope you're having a good evening. I hope you are enjoying your Friday night as well and you're having a good time. Um, I thought I'd do one last video uh, tonight. Well, today I posted quite a few today in regards to news, mainly regarding Binance, because there's a lot of it today. But um, I thought I'd actually take a quick deep dive into, um, well, I call it a deep dive. It's a deep dive for me anyway, uh, into Binance's price action and just kind of, you know, have a look at, um, have a look and see what it's actually doing right now, because it's kind of just been stuck uh, for a little bit. We had a little bit of a drop, but, um, you know, we came down to certain resistance levels, support levels, uh, which I'm going to present to you guys. And I thought to myself, you know, I was just kind of sitting in, I thought to myself, let me just have a look and see what's really going on. And um, there's a few things that I spotted out. I thought I'd just actually try and keep it like as simple as possible. So I'm going to try and present it in a way where, you know, I have kept it very simple. And um, hopefully you guys will be able to kind of understand and have a look what I'm saying, what I'm seeing as well. And, you know, maybe you can kind of, um, you know, go away from this video, having maybe even learned something, uh, you know, very simple indicators I'm going to be using anyway. But it is looking like we are approaching a time when um, a pump could be happening. Um, one thing that I am looking for is for us to break out of a certain range. And um, I'm going to show you that right now, guys, uh, as Bitcoin is actually pumping as I am speaking right now, to be fair. But let's have a quick look. I'm going to go full screen and just kind of show you guys what I'm seeing just as like a little side video tonight for you guys to watch to get an idea of what I'm of what I'm seeing. Right. So let's have a quick look at it right here. So this is Bitcoin on the hourly chart, as you can see. Uh, we're having a little bit of a pump in Bitcoin right now, right there. Um, one thing that I've been looking for uh, was this trend line to just kind of hold. Right. Because um, it seems like we've just been trending uh, on top of this. And, you know, one thing that I obviously noticed was that. You know, every time we seem to have hit this line right here, we seem to just have a big pump up every single time. Right. And, um, you know, I was looking for this even before we had this drop. But this drop just kind of validated this even more because this drop came back down to perfectly hit our level right there on our line. And then I kind of thought I'd have a look and see where we actually dropped to. And, um, you know, to my surprise, we dropped to this area right here where we did find a little bit of volatility, a little bit of resistance, uh, which we ended up breaking out of. But even through that dip, we actually managed to hold this level altogether, as well as coming back down and literally pinpoint touching um, our trend line right there as well. So that was just a couple of things that I was looking at. Thankfully, that has ended up playing out pretty well. So at this moment in time, you know, we are just kind of grinding up. Now, another thing that I noticed, again, like I said, every time we seem to have hit our line right here, we've had a big pump. So we've hit it right there. We pumped up. We came back, hit it right there, had a big pump. Even here where we're just consolidating for a while, right? That's a whole nearly two days of consolidation. We hit it again, finally, after a little bit of a dump right there. But then after hitting it shortly after, remember, this is the hourly chart. A few hours later, we did pump up, and you know, a, a big pump as well, eventually finding some resistance at this level right here where Bitcoin eventually did come back to touch. Now, during this entire time, we never actually came back down to touch it until just earlier today after we had that, you know, supposed dump that we had. Right now, at this point in time, again, Bitcoin has touched it. We are now we seem to be having a little bit of a rise right now as I'm recording this. Um, but there was a few other things that I wanted to check out. One thing that I've been doing quite often during my entire analysis on Bitcoin was wasn't going over the top with, you know, ridiculous amount of indicators and everything else. But I tried keeping it simple, just looking at things like the relative strength index to have a look and see whether or not the market is oversold or overwrought. Um, you know, one thing we did notice was that when Bitcoin was at 29K, you know, I, I did present the relative strength index and showed that it was completely oversold. Every time we dipped under 30 on the relative strength index, we had a big bump, uh, a big pump. And we did do that at 29K. I presented a case that whales were also buying. And what do you know, we did end up getting our way out of there. So I decided to go back to it and have a look and see, you know, what we're seeing on the relative strength index. Now, again, this might look a little bit weird to you guys. But um, one thing I decided to do was just take a look and see at what levels did we have all of these pumps that we hit every time we hit our trend line. So if I come right here, you know, we can kind of see that every time we kind of came around this area right here. So kind of between 45 to 50 on the relative strength index, as you can see here, we seem to have get a bit of a pump up. Right. 
So we had one there. We pumped up. We came down here just as we crossed it again. As you can see, we had a pump up again. And um, over here as well, we had another pump right there, right after we hit between 45 to 50. Now, as you can see, we're just kind of trending below that right now, about to break out of it. In fact, we, as I'm recording, we are now breaking above it. Now, the past few times we've come back and hit um, our trend line right here, we've pumped. The past few times we've broken this trend right here on the relative strength index, we pumped and it seems like we're doing it right now as an, as like i said as i'm speaking we are pumping right now as well and another thing i decided to do was take a look at the divergence um indicator it's another indicator that i like to use whenever i am charting bitcoin and as you can see there's a lot of bearishness going on right here every time we hit the top it lets us know that it's now turning bearish one thing i'm looking for right now is just for a break out of this divergence right here which was obviously deemed bearish right here i don't know why it obviously just consolidated a little bit but um you know we barely even went down but one thing i am looking for is for bitcoin to just kind of break out of this right now and as i said we do seem to be pumping so hopefully we can break out of that which in my opinion would then turn much more bullish for bitcoin so these are all of the things that i am looking for in regards to bitcoin in the short term price action now in regards to me actually zooming out taking all of this off, looking at the bigger picture, guys, you know, what am I seeing on the actual bigger picture? What am I actually looking for? What am I waiting for? I've kind of, you know, mentioned it quite a few times, but it's this range right here that we've been stuck in for a very, very long time. We rejected it once, twice, three times and four times being very recently as well. We've been stuck in this range for an extremely long time and I am just waiting for us to break out of it. Now, the difference between every time we've hit it is that every time we did hit it in the past, we've rejected it heavily. Hit it, reject heavily, hit it, reject heavily. Now, this time it's different because we've hit it and we've kind of just been playing around with the area. As you can see, we've been here for, you know, quite a few days now, just kind of chilling and playing with the area. A few bumps, uh, pumps here and there, hitting it there, hitting it there and just kind of playing around with it. But now finally coming back and actually retesting this trend line is that going to bump us up over it is that what's going to actually push us out of it i don't know this range does lie around just over the 41k mark so i am waiting for bitcoin to just get over 41k as the first point of resistance and then after that it is all about kind of zooming out even more and getting our fibonacci retracement tool and then finding our um further levels of retracements right here so right now we're chilling here the first level of resistance and i've showed this quite often we've got a lot to get through right but the first level for me would lie around right there why is that dotted let me tell off so the first level for me would literally lay around the 41k mark so around right there but then after that you've got all of these the 0.382 that we need to get through then you've got the 50 percent that we need to get through the 618 the 702 and finally D786 that we need to get through, guys. So then if I take the Fibonacci retracement off the chart, you can see right here, these are all of the ones we actually need to get through. Most importantly being the 702 and the 786, but starting off with getting out of this bloody range, which is around the 41K mark, right? So I thought I'd just kind of, you know, let you guys know that that is what I'm looking for. Um, first point is to just get through the range, which is at 41K. And, um, you know, indicators are indicating that we are going to be having a pump very soon. Some could argue we're doing it right now as I'm recording because we were just under 38K. As I started recording, we're now at 39,400. So, you know, make of it what you will. Um, but look, it's a patient game. It really, really is a patient game. I mean, if I go back to it, and we can kind of just look at it from another side as well, guys, because if we do not end up getting out of the range and then we do end up rejecting it, you know, once again, you know, all I'd be really looking for is for is for Bitcoin to just kind of hold our trend line once more. So if we do that, you know, and then we, we just kind of grind our way up down it. If we do end up rejecting it one more time, then what I'd like to see is for Bitcoin to just hold this level once again. So if we do end up kind of just doing something a little bit like this, grinding our way up and then just rejecting it, coming back down below our trend line. If we break the trend, I'd want us to hold that level. If not, you know, we could expect to be coming down a little bit lower, probably towards the 40, uh, the 36K mark around that area right there. So <clears throat> that's basically what I'm looking for, guys. You know, I just want to do a quick video just letting you guys know. It's not financial advice. It is just my opinion, as always. Uh, but, uh, but look, 
you know, it is a patient game. We just got to wait and see what happens. Got to look at it from both sides. But either way, I'm still bullish on the market longer term. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to wait and see what happens. But if you guys have enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already and make sure your bell icon is turned on. And I'll be back tomorrow, guys, with more video updates for you. Enjoy the rest of your night and enjoy your weekend, guys. And I'll speak to you very soon. Take it.